Hello, welcome to the another media hack screencast. In this screencast, I'll show you how you can see uh, DDP messages uh, going around your application. And this is uh, media has blog uh, detailing about this what, what I'm talking today. And here's the demonstration. Right. First, you need a tool called DDP Analyzer. You need to install it from npm. So what you can do is something like that. sudo, right, sudo, npm install minus g ddp analyzer right okay so i'm not going to install this again because i have already done that uh, one all right then uh, so now i need to start a proxy server so ddp analyzer comes with a proxy server uh, ddp proxy server so let's let's start that one say ddp analyzer proxy that's all you have to do now you have a proxy server running on port uh, 3030 right okay let's 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 stay this one as like this and open open another console tab then i'm what i'm trying to do is I'll, i'm gonna start my application so in this case i'm using a telescope popular telescope application media application before i'm gonna start that application i had to do some i had to do some uh, configuration first right uh, using environment and variable so i have to say first I don't need uh, disable web server so this is not required because the uh, because the uh, ddp uh, proxy is using sock days and it doesn't use web server so it's better to say we don't need uh, web server and the next thing we have to do is we have to tell uh, meteor client to use a separate ddp connection right dbdp server so let's say default connection is on that's the proxy we have started right right local loss port 3030 so now that i instead of talking to the actual uh your server ddp server start with your media application now you are going talking to the this proxy server and proxy server talk to your actual server and in the meantime we can see what's behind going here and there right and then i export that one too and let's say it's media so I, have, uh, I think I have already installed all the packages needed. So I have, uh, do start my media application. Right, let's wait some time. Okay, let's take a few seconds. Right. So now we can see now my media application running on port 3000. Right. So let's say nothing happens on my proxy. So now go to my browser and say local loss 3000. This is where my application run. Right, let's take a few. So right, now application seems to have loaded. Right, let's go to my proxy server. You can see here there are a couple of messages. This is the actual DDP messages going here and there. You can see now this arrow shows you the, the messages come from the server to the client. You can see server ID says like that. And this is this arrow shows you the, the messages come from the client to the server. You can see connect and this is the versions and all the blah blah. A lot of things happen. You can see here subscriptions. So the client requesting for the subscription, right? categories and params are like that and you can you can see everything everything in your application what i'm doing in detail here and right you can see the responses like that you can see some yeah so those collections and uh, the, there's a user collection so something added to the user's collection you can see all right there are a lot of things happening here you can, I'll, I'll show you some i'll see you some some more about this thing so let's sign up a user let's say i need to sign up using a at a.com and password is something like one two three four five six okay oh my password is wrong. like squared account and you say all right okay now let's see what's going on a lot of things happening here i can see so there's a method call goes to the create user with the param these things are pretty media, media standard things you can see things happening yeah sending and there's a the collection there's a user coming back to the to the our from the server to the client you can see something like that there are a lot of things happening you, you, you can keep calm and uh, have a look around this what are the exactly things happening and it'll be really fun All right let's let's do another thing let's add a new post All right let's add a new post All right okay there's nothing here and let's say url is meteor http or meteor hacks dot com and title is meteor x 
right then I submit that one okay cool now I go to my console you can see here there's a new method call to using headline is meteor hacks body is nothing category is nothing blah 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 and the URL is meteorhacks.com this is something going from the client to the server you can see this from the server to the client there's a new new document has been added to the post collection and here with the document we hear the ID of the yeah you can see here the ideas are both are the same you can see these are the fields right so there this thing these are some something uh, specific to the meteor publish subscribe system uh, no 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 yeah something like that so I'm not quite sure and so you can see this you can see so this uh, is you can see uh, and that, that this is really helpful to understand what's happening on your application and you can optimize your application regarding what's going here and there and you can see right okay I think the full tool will be really useful to debug your application and a little note about this number this is the the millisecond gap between the the logs right that means the uh, you can see the this log 16 second uh, 16 millisecond later than the previous one and this uh, log is this time uh, after the this log message all right that's it all right uh, i think you can um, this tool will be really useful thank you